Hello from Slovenia again. Today I have a project, an idea, whatever you want to call it. Shelly from Shelly Art, you probably all know her <laughs> because of her blooms and her recipes. Send me some these little piggy pigments to play with. Uh, thank you Shelly again. So today I will try to use those pigments in my reverse flower dips. So I will use mermaid and taffy, these little piggy pigments. Uh, and I mixed my pigments with bloom mixture. So two parts untinted base to one part min wax polycrylic. Uh, and I mixed two of the Amsterdam paints too. So I will have two pigments and two um, <laughs> two paints mixed with bloom pouring medium. Uh, I will put link to those pigments into the description box if you want to check them. Uh, and of course all the mixtures and everything will be in the description box. Uh, I will pause you for a second and apply... Oh, forgot! And my base, black base, Amsterdam Oxide Black and my Pearl White mixture are mixed with my pouring medium, normal pouring medium, not bloom. So. Today Shelly's recipe will meet Fiona's art recipes for lacing and see what will happen. So I will pause you now to apply my base coat. Okay, so I apply my black base and because for blooms you need a little thicker paint so that's why I left it on the thick side and I will use this um, glass, little glass for pouring on because I like the effect of that so I try to and I'm using just little 8 by 8 inch canvas today because I don't want too much wasted paint if this will not work. So I will start with, this will be my last one, I will start with this little piggy pigment. Tuffy, Tuffy, Tuffy. So let's do that. And my pearl white. And I will try not to go crazy with my pearl white mixture. But these paints are a little thicker and different consistency, so maybe I need more of pearl white. Let's do that. For some lacing over the colors. Let's see. And next one is Amsterdam Expert Series Phthalo Turquoise. And again, some pearl white. And this little piggy pigment mermaid. They're so beautiful, those pigments and pearl white again and my 
my flower starts to be totally in one way and phthalo, phthalo brush and phthalo Amsterdam and I will do another try with uh, cell activator with Australian flow troll that Shelly use and see if we can get something nice so I will just and it is off centered quite a lot but Okay, let's do the napkin part and then we will know. But my pearl white totally disappeared. Do you see? Normally it takes over, but here totally disappeared. So I'm not sure about the lacing with this combination. But as you know me, I like to experiment. So if this will... Even if, if this will work or not, tomorrow I will try with Flo Australian flow troll. Mixture for white, for lacing, so. Let's put the napkin down. I like the flower before the napkin too, but... We were we are on the mission to see if this will work like my mixture or similar or different but still beautiful. <laughs> I just want to try that. So we will see. Drums please or maybe not. No lacing, unfortunately, just on the outside. You see? So, But because of those pigments, I think that it will look quite nice anyway. 
but no lacing. I'm really curious what will happen tomorrow when I will use Australian Floatrol for the cell activator or the lacing effect. But uh, those um, pigments already look beautiful, so I'm just afraid that this will again grow and grow and grow and does don't that it will not stay composition wise. I don't know. <sighs> I was really hoping for some lacing effect, but as I said, it's only on the outside. So here is a close-up. I was definitely hoping for more effects. I I know probably what it is with the reverse flower dips and uh, bloom mixture because with the bloom mixture more you more you stretch think more you you get the effects but with the reverse flower dip is not the same because quite a lot of paint will stay uh, on the surface it will not be you know. stretched and create more of effects but just want to do an experiment so tomorrow I will use a float roll Australian float roll mix for the cell activator this this way it kind of looks like a snowflake or something because it kind of start to create some kind of fractal look on the sides so I will show you the dry result on my Sunday life as the other ones and see you on the next one bye